Hello my dear friends, it's a bright but cold day here at Fourness. I've got an incoming tide, so it gives me the perfect opportunity to show you some of the birds here. At low tide, when rocks are exposed, oyster catchers are one of the most obvious birds at Fourness. These handsome black and white waders don't actually eat oysters, but instead search the rock pools for small crabs and various other invertebrates. But most of all, they are attracted by the plentiful supply of mussels. While oyster catchers are not rare birds in Britain, they are one of my favourites, full of character with an interesting feeding ecology. They are also very photogenic birds. Here are a few shots I took at Four Ness. Oyster catchers might be easy to spot, but turnstones are far more numerous in autumn and winter. These visitors from Arctic regions forage among the rocks and seaweed covered slipways at low tide. As high tide approaches, the turnstones turn their attention to a floating mass of seaweed, picking food items from the surface in a large gang. In the background, you can see the turnstones were joined by sandling. When the tide is at its highest, these busy little waders find a new feeding opportunity in the drift line on the promenade. These ones have found a sandy patch above the high tide line in which to dig for invertebrates. When turnstones are busy feeding, they can be extremely tame. A photographer's dream. Without turning away from the water for a moment and focusing on the cliffs, it would be easy to overlook rock pipit. Rock pipits are found at four nests all year round, nesting in cracks on the cliffs, but coming down to find food in washed up debris. Where sometimes in winter, they are joined by snow bunting. As well as commoner birds like pied wagtail, Autumn and winter bring Brent geese to Fourness. Larger flocks can be seen on the mudflats of the nearby Thames estuary, but small numbers can usually be seen here too. Of the birds at Fourness, Eurasian curlew has the most atmospheric of calls. I've seen this colouring curlew at this location two winters in a row. This bird knows it's a good place to find food. Usually I find curlew is a difficult bird to approach, but I've been sitting on these rocks for a while now, and as the tide comes in, some of the curlews have come close to me. Windy conditions made it difficult to video many of the birds at Four Ness in winter, but here are photos of some of the others. Scanning the low tide rocks carefully can reveal rarer birds. Purple Sandpiper
These charming little waders can be found in small groups on rocky coasts and harbours in winter, and Fawness is a regular spot for seven or eight birds. I really enjoy seeing these rock-loving waders feeding amongst the waves. I don't see them very often on my travels, and one of the things I like about purple sandpipers the most is how tame they can be. This individual demonstrates how tame purple sandpipers can be, feeding right in front of me while I had lunch, probing for food items in the cracks in the concrete promenade. To learn more about purple sandpipers, watch this video next. Bye for now.